good evening friends today i am going to share with you a very important theory of applied geography that is known as central place theory and, and was given by walter kristeller who was a great economist or we can say a great geographer uh, of germany and he introduced this theory in his book which was entitled as central places of southern germany and was published in 1933 and was later translated into english in 1966 so that people like us can also understand and uh, learn it this theory was actually based on the settlement pattern of southern germany it was just because he, it was not possible for him uh, to travel across the world to understand the settlement pattern of any other place or there were not good transportation system in uh, germany at that time so his theory was based on the settlement pattern of southern germany and his own town that was bavaria central place theory explains us that uh, the spatial arrangement of human settlement or we can say it also explains us the layout of human settlement across the globe Uh, it also explains the relationship between uh, human settlements of different sizes their economic activities with population uh, their number and geographical distribution of cities uh, now let's talk, talk about the principles of it there are totally five principles the first one is principle of centrality then comes the second the second is principle of hierarchy second uh, the third one is range the fourth is threshold and the last one is principle of complementary area starting from the last principle of complementary area means a area for which central place is a focal point this area would be larger for bigger and more important central places and smaller for less less important ones then comes a uh, threshold which means the minimum number of people required to support a business at a central place uh, then range range is also called the perimeter of goods the maximum distance a buyer can travel to buy the good Uh, then come principle of hierarchy it is manifested in terms of political divisions and places such as state district tehsil are complemented by the hierarchy of state capital district headquarters and state headquarters then the most important principle of centrality every place has a central place uh, Uh, for example uh, a village has a central place or a core around a chapel a temple or a mosque etc uh, and with the same we can talk about urban area in urban area the central place can be a court room uh, important monument or any 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 big uh, any big any big house or anything it is not necessary that the central place should be geometrically in center it can be on any location it should just have a good contact with other places in the city or the town uh, the assumptions taken by uh, kristeller were such as higher order central place gives more services to population than a lower order central place for example new delhi is the highest hierarchy in india so delhi will give more services than any other state the hierarchy rank of city is inversely proportional to the number of settlements and sizes same order settlements are in same distance seller and buyer are both the economic person the near distance is preferred to get services every uh, evenly distributed population and resources then let's come to the uh, uh, pattern of nesting kristeller suggested three ways in which hierarchical spatial structure would be organized and these are uh, such as marketing principle that is called k3 
ट्रांसपोर्टेशन डेट इज के फोर एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव प्रिंसिपल डेट इज के सेवन तो के हेयर इंडिकेट्स द नंबर ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एरियाज ऑफ लोअर ऑर्डर सेंटर सर्व बाय द नेक्स्ट हायर ऑर्डर सेंटर दे आर द थ्री डायग्राम्स मेड बाय क्रिस्टलर यू कैन सी इन द फर्स्ट टू डायग्राम्स द ब्लैक एरिया इज मार्क्ड एज अ एरर सो द लास्ट डायग्राम इज इज इन अगजन इन शेप डैट इज अ टोटली करेक्ट डायग्राम सजेस्टेड बाय क्रिस्टलर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दीज प्रिंसिपल्स let's come to the first principle that is marketing principle and is called k3 in the areas where buying and selling is most important the urban structure would emerge in such a way that k3 hierarchy will develop for example the central place will be in middle and there will be small places all around it and the marketing principle will work according to it and the k3 principle will work then come to a uh, k4 network that is transportation network transport principle uh, this uh, was just made to provide an efficient network in germany this provides the most efficient network all over the world if we use this network uh, in this higher order place will be in center and uh, the net and the network will work according to a hexagonal shape Uh, in all the in the all the areas in all the six phases, and this principle will work. After then come the K seven principle, that is K seven administrative principle. In the areas where administration is centralized, the urban structure would develop in such a way that K seven hierarchy will develop. Then comes comes the principle uh, criticism and limitations. some considerable criticism of this theory are as follows some uh, critics say that the central place theory may be disrupted by various physical factors such as topography intensive agriculture soil productivity and transportation routes etc but in actual way uh, physical factors are not in anyone's hand and were not in uh, crystallers hand too so we cannot call it a criticism but according to critics it's a big criticism so we have to consider it after this comes the uh, the second one uh, it means a uh, transport route does not radiate in all directions from the center place or town as said in this theory thus the service areas may be elongated rather than hexagonal shape uh, so this is understood easily And then comes the other criticism like the hexagonal pattern of crystaller had been also criticized because he has uh, neglected linear pattern along uh, the rail road and rivers and so this theory has been called purely impure uh, then comes the other one like crystaller uh, crystaller central place theory can only be applied on regions where uh, where are plain areas but in regions of deep valley and ridges the central places are not symmetrical similarly situations of roads railways rivers industrialization etc uh, greatly influence the central place theory so yeah these were some considerable criticisms of this theory uh, and and i hope i will be and i hope uh, it will be clear to you all uh, if there are any doubts you can just ask in the comment section i will be there to uh, complete them thank you for your time and please tell me uh, how was the theory and how was my teaching and thank you.